So there you have it. The old Nokia's Portage. Designed from scratch. Let's look at the grill and the bumper. Take a look at the headlights as well. Xenon headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED fog lights. The TGDI version has ice cube LED fog lights. Now, the new design makes this the most aerodynamic sportage to date. Drag is reduced from 0 0.35 to 0 0.33 CD. LED tail lamps. Sensors for the backup camera. LED third braking light. Shark fin antenna. Zero to sixty time for the TGDI. It's around nine seconds. Top speed one hundred twenty-seven miles per hour. GDI eleven point five seconds. Top speed one hundred thirteen miles per hour. Two hundred sixty-five newton meters of torque for the TGDI. One hundred sixty-one for the GDI. Fuel tank, 62 liters or 16.4 gallons. The GDI is 45 combined. MPG for the TGDI is 39 combined. The luggage can 52.7 cubic feet. 60-40 split. Neat luggage cover. The drive train is a six speed manual or a seven speed automatic. There are also a 1.7 diesel and a 2.0 diesel. So today, Driving the all new Kia Sportage 1.6 TGDI. TGDI stands for Turbo Gasoline Direct Injection. So it's a nice car. The interior looks very good. This is the fourth generation of the Kia Sportage 2016 model. As I've said, it's a TGDI, so it's a turbo, so it's fast. The version that I'm driving right now has got a six speed manual transmission. First impression it drives very good, it feels very rigid. There are no squeaks and rattles. So I'm very pleased with it. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. Interior looks very good. Tachometer with the water temperature gauge, trip computer, speedometer, a 
a steering wheel. Toggle switch for the volume. Switch for the frequencies. Pick up your phone. Enter conversation. Mute. Refresh button. Go through the menu of the trip computer. Information. Settings. Go through, go through the menu, the trip computer. Right here. Light switch. Switch. Signal. Lights. Auto. High beam. So you got your settings. Touch system. Radio. Navigation. settings climb control Dual climate control, that is. Turn it off. Higher. Directions. The fogger, the froster, AC, circulation button. So in your center console, you also have a auxiliary jack as well as a USB connection. And the fun thing is, you can just place your phone. Just you can just place your phone right here and then it will automatically charge. Handbrake. Cup holders. Storage.
perforated seats with a very sporty look. Door panel, glove box. Air fence. Switches for the power window, rear, front. Folding mirrors. You can adjust the mirror right here. ASR button. Traction control. Disable it with this button. As you can see, then the part you're warning, you can disable it. This button, dash for illumination, height, the lighting. Open your hood with it. So now I'm in the back of the uh, Kia Sportage. And the interior is very nice. You got your center console with the air vents. And they even got a USB connection as well as a power as well as a power outlet in the back. So the room in the back is, is okay, I would say. You got your Isofix anchor points. Adjustable headrests. Armrest with cup holders. Look at the front. LED headlights. It's got the ice cube fog lights. LED daytime running lights. Taking the lights in the mirror, 245, 45, 19 inch rims, light alloy, LED tail lamps, dual exhaust system, it comes with the TGDI version. One point six TGDI. Your backup camera, very handy. Now I have to say this car packs a lot of punch. The one point six TGDI. It's very fast. I can tell you that. In the Honda, they also got a one point six naturally aspirated engine. And I'm not sure if they will have that in North America. In America, probably the base version will be a 1.6 uh, TGDI because, well, you know, the driving conditions are a lot different right there.
This was the review of the Kia Sportage TGDI 1.6. Thanks for watching.